So now we'll look at some uh, GUI programming using NetBeans. You should already have created a NetBeans project introduction with a main class. So it's time to look at the GUI elements. So we simply start up NetBeans again. Let's see if we can open project. And as you might recall, we already have made this project introduction. Let's see what's inside here. Here. So we made a main class, could only print out a little text, and that was about it. Now, in the package introduction, I want to make a new file. Two ways of doing it right click on the bottom and then choose from here, or go up here. Control N is a good choice, remember that. And now I want to have a GUI form. Now there are two GUI forms here, AWT with a little deprecated and the Swing GUI forms. I choose Swing GUI forms. All Swing GUI forms, they normally use the Java frame, the J frame form here as a basic form for building up the GUI. So this is what we will choose. Let's click on next. And then uh, we have to give it some name. We just let it be for the moment. New J frame. Finish. Fine. So uh, then you can see various things here. There's a design. This is this one. The view of design. Or I can look at the source. You can see they are automatically created some code, which we will not go into right now. Back to design. When you build up such a thing, it is an advantage to build them up using a panel. You click on panel and then when you click on panel you just move the cursor here. Don't like drag and drop. Don't hold it down just here. And I also want one more panel. And this panel I put here. Got two panels. Can change the side. Loop it up here. The other one is down here. Maybe I move it a little bit. The reason why we make panels is that these panels can, as you can see, can be moved up and down, and the components inside, as we shall see in a moment, will be moved with it. So what shall I do? I need a label up here. This label to have some text inside, double click on it. It's a welcome Java GUI. That is enough for the moment. Oh, the label looks a little bit big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I'll go down here. So the program I actually want to do is that I need a bottom. And then when I click this bottom, I want some action to be taken. And that action shall be that I write something in this text field. So that is what this program is about. Let me move it a little bit around. Now you can see I have one panel here, one panel here. If I decide to move this panel, you can see the components, the L GUI elements inside the panel will move along with it. And that is the advantage of the panels. This J bottom one is not a good name. Let's see if we can rename it. There are several ways of doing it. Oops, yeah, that was a double click. That was not what I wanted. Like this. And then I can uh, write a new name. I'll call it uh, a new label here. Welcome. 
bottom like this now that is just the label of the bottom that is actually not the name for it if you go down here you can see here I can right click here and then I could also have edited the text if I want that is what I just did or I can change the variable name and I will change the variable name to welcome button notice it's a small w as this is a java variable they always come with small letters as a start right then let's we can actually just try to run the program right away ah maybe you remember the shift f6 and here's what the user will see if the program is activated there are some things some issues to look at this here is not uh, wide enough and why on earth should i look at jtex field one here close it down go back again just delete this one this one was a little bit small can make it a little bit bigger like this this one was very small letters so we will make it bigger like that and then we try to run one more time now it actually looks okay so what I want to do now is that when I click this bottom here it should say something like welcome to my whatever program but of course I should not sit and type it in like this somehow I must find out how can this one do an action so there will be some text here let's for this purpose we have to look at the source code so we look at the source code now when you look at the source code you will see there is a method here called welcome bottom action perform to add your handling code here well a first try would simply be to say system that out print line like this and then say hi whatever that's maybe that could do it we immediately compile and run it again we click on it and we didn't get anything but we got something down here that is correct because down here is what system that out is working on it's working on the output windows box here but we are on the right track We have to do something else let's deprecate it's coming out what I need to do is to look go back to design and look at this one here see there's a JTEX field here and when we double click on it we can see that comes a, a lot of things out here what it actually can do but maybe it would be nicer to look at uh, the bottom instead because that is the one which is going to do something and the bottom should actually go in and write something here the name of the JTEX field here is JTEX field 1 so uh, that is the variable name so I go here again and then I simply write JTEX field now now Java helps me a little bit 
it goes in and suggests a long variety of methods. Now I want to set the text to something, so I simply am guessing a little bit of right set. And then uh, a lot of method here, possibility comes up. I want to set the text. Right, T ah, voila. Here maybe there is something. Set the text of the text component to specifies text. That is exactly what we are looking for. Choose it. Text I want here is welcome, my friend. You can, of course, choose something else. Yeah, I think it will be fine. Let's try to compile and run it again. And then when I go here and click the bottom, the text is actually put here. Every time I click the bottom, it will be put there. Nice little GUI program. Doing not much, but the principles are fine. So just to refresh you a little bit, rehearse a little bit here, remember that over here you can see the build up of everything. And each time you click it will highlight the various components. Over here, let's take the welcome button, you can actually see the properties of the welcome button can see at the moment the background is some gray color, but it can be uh, chosen to something else. You can change the font, the foreground. And here's the text. The text is actually the welcome button text here, which I changed in another way. But you could also have chosen it here. And there are many, many more possibilities here. But this is uh, the first uh, Java GUI program. Now, there are, of course, many other facilities, but this I have put into an assignment so you can have good time and sit and look around. So the next step would be to go to this assignment called Introduction to NetBeans, where there are some more things you will need to do.